Hi, I'm Paramdeep Singh, CEO of Field Assist, and today I have with me Karthik Jory. Karthik is a second-generation entrepreneur and is building India's largest brand of disposable hygiene products. As on date, Noble Hygiene has over 70% market share in adult diapers in India. Hi, Karthik, welcome. My pleasure. Let me start with the question I have in mind for you, Karthik. Traditionally, in Indian market, you know, talking about personal hygiene matters is a taboo. Mm. So, how are you bringing this mindset change for Indians? What do you have to say about it? As with any taboo category, I think what is most important is consistency of message and different tonalities of the same message as well. Whatever helps break through the mindset or the cultural block that exists, whether it is for the actual end consumer who uses the product or whether it is for the caretaker who purchases the product or he's the genuine one who sparks the conversation internally. So I think what is most important is consistency and over a long period of time if we can make that happen then hopefully we'll be able to affect some sort of a permanent consumer mind shift. Great and I've seen the ads of friends it's mind blowing. Thank you, thank you. All credit to the agencies. Okay, when uh, you know brands like uh, HUL or Godrej are exiting uh, the category of uh, baby diapers, mm. what made you to get into this and put dig heels into this category? So, when our managing director and founder originally 20 years ago started with this category, I think the shining beacon for him is that India will soon be one of the most populous countries in the world. I think just yesterday's news puts us only one year away from that target. And that was truly the fundamental reason for getting into baby diapers. Of course, as a company, we have an extremely strong orientation towards a high quality product. And that is in short that over the past years we've managed to stay toe to toe with some of the best brands in the world and true multinational giants. And at the end of it, I think our attraction in this category also remains the same. Uh, so Karthik, uh, did competition matter in the, at the early stage of building the brand or today? I think competition has always mattered um, no matter what time frame you ask me to choose from. And fortunately or unfortunately, they've stayed consistent as well. So we, we understand that the big multinationals are going to be with us in this long-term journey. They're truly the lions and the kings of the jungle. And we have to find our own way to create a niche within the category. So, baby diapers and sanitary napkins have been in the market for, for quite some time. Mm. But the adult diapers, you know, this is a you know, changing the game. For Kirana stores or chemists, you know, it's for keeping them in stock, how did you manage, how did you convince, how did you go about this, you know, getting this uh, into a supply chain or distributor, convincing the uh, partners? Um, <laughs> uh, there is one story which is now legendary in the system and uh, one of our core support pillars in sales, mm -hmm. who's been with our managing director for the past uh, almost two decades now. And when he first went to market to Kirana's or even to chemists at that point, saying we have a new product, adult diapers, this is please uh -huh. keep it on the shelves. He was laughed out. So he said, you know, and to your earlier question, I think it took a long amount of time for us to go back and convince the channel that this is an important product, please understand, please look within your own homes, please consider the plight of the patients who are unable to move from their beds. Please consider a senior citizen who is 73, who's maybe had an accident and who is in a temporary state of immobility. So again, the consistency of the messaging mm -hmm. and over long term, when we did manage to place the stock there, and I mean, it's been a tremendous journey and now Friends is a staple in every chemist store that you will go to. Okay. Well said. Yeah, it is indeed a staple nowadays. Correct. How are you building you know, a data-driven growth culture at Noble Hygiene? Throughout various facets of the organization, right, and this holds true for any organization, that you're always sitting on reams of data. Um, one of the things that we had to action out really early in our data and digitization journey mm -hmm. was ensuring that this data is clean and transparently available to every stakeholder that requests of it. And I think that is a step one and a starting point for everyone. So the more data is available to each and every person within the organization, the more they're able to work upon it, the faster is the adoption of digitalization and the more benefits start to accrue from all the data as well. 
So Karthik, at what point of your you know growth journey did you realize to adopt a technology product or infuse technology led you know transformation at your company? And what do you see you know future of this technology in the consumer space industry? A, you need to have stakeholder buy-in, and management buy-in is easy because they are the ones yes. which are craving right. analytics. They are craving more information, right? But your system, your sales system. your managers your territory managers your regional managers they are truly going to be the ones who are going to drive this change so without their buy in irrespective of what fantastic solution you can get to them at whatever fantastic price i think it's always going to fail so as with most businesses in the country whether it's ai or whether it's fmcg wafers i think all businesses are people businesses because they're still driven internally by people and even the better and better ai gets mm-hmm. there are still tools in the hands of people so if you have a people oriented approach first which i did not and that was my first learning um, okay. i think that is truly the cause of uh, the tremendous success which we are seeing now so you are aiming for a you know big number you know let's say 800 crore turnover that's really audacious i think the only way we are going to get to this number if my entire army of 850 people can truly focus on what is important mm-hmm. which is making calls and making productive calls down to the very last beat right and one of the reasons why field assist has been so successful is the ease of adoption that it has allowed for us right it took my system very little time to get accustomed to it the ui and the solution was very cleanly built and we were very proactive in explaining to our sales team that this is a tool to help take the burden off of you yeah but great thank you thank you for having faith in us so karthik once you finished your studies abroad and came back to india mm-hmm. what challenges did you see in adopting the culture of a company and what do you want to institutionalize or the change management practices so tell me some stories about it or any incidents but what was there in your mind when you you know joined the company it took me about 12 months to 16 months to even come to terms with the organization i see and then at the end of it when you do see lacunas and you see gaps again data helps at that point right so if you can make a data led case saying that this is how i hope to free right. either the organization's time and effort either to reduce friction or if possible simply add to the bottom line and those cases were then very very slowly and steadily built over the past 5 7 years one last question before mm-hmm. we wrap up today if you have to share you know the three nuggets of wisdom with a budding you know company or entrepreneur mm-hmm. who wishes to be uh, make it large in the mm-hmm. consumer space industry mm-hmm. what would you say you know? i think i mean the first point which i covered before was you know patience yes i think that's really important especially if you have a long term orientation to business um learning number 2 would be like i said stakeholder management your team is the one who will drive the changes your team is the one who will function on a day to day basis so you need to align with your team you need to ensure that they share your dream as well and thirdly if i can say and this is a softer point but i think communications has a massive role to play across functions within any business right and when i say communications most people immediately orient towards marketing or to digital content or to tv right, ads right. and that is not what i mean by communication and my team knows that i am the most stringent when it comes to my internal communications so any messaging that goes out to my sales team there is an extra hour of design effort put there any recording that we do for training purposes my editors spend more time there any sort of communication that a managing director has to release to the factory whether it's in a written form or whether it's a recorded video we spend extra 3 hours there and that is truly what wow. is important right so thank you thank you karthik for being here with us today and sharing all your experiences your triumphs and failures with us mm-hmm. and i'm really inspired by this mm-hmm. it's too high praise yeah. <laughs> <It's too high. laughs> thank you thank you so much for having trust in us and uh, we are truly proud a uh, partner for a great brand like yours so congratulations Hope this continues. Yeah, definitely thank, thank you. you thank, thank you, you so much